thing is huge. Thing's about a foot big. We had a huge, we had a huge storm here last night. Heard majorly loud thunder. Whoa. So after this happened, I got some quotes and they came in around $9,000 to get this tree down. It was a safety issue. I had to get it down. I'm not spending nine grand. So uh, I called up my crazy uncle and my dad, and my friends, my brothers, and we got that sucker down today on Live Laugh. This channel is really about celebrating life. I love this little boat. Fish off the ice bridge. It's already shredded. Shenanigans. We got this one down. Pulled it with a truck. And our neighbor came over and cut the limbs down over there. This pole saw. Got up there and did some chainsaw on the ladder. Now we're gonna work on the split. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, if that slides off and then down the tree, it's gonna kick back. If it doesn't dig in there. Way too many cocks, not enough hens. Ready? Ready. Clear. Clear. I'm not clear. Let me get into clear. Ever clear? You want some ever clear? Yeah. What's up, brother? Howdy. Okay, speaking of smoke. Oh, wait, that's on video. Speak to me a cigarette right now. Here we go. Well, that's kind of neat to watch, though. His, his tires do that. Good. Yeah. Pull low. You get it. It's neat. All right, we got two trucks, one tree. Let's see who's going to be the winner of this competition. This is the two trucks, one tree challenge. Who's gonna win? I'm gonna get a chain to the nuts when it breaks. It's gonna slingshot. I don't like the spot that I'm in. Try and pull right around this corner if you can. Might lose a bush here, but we'll see. You're just spinning one tire. No, don't do it. This scares the shit out of me. Jesus. <laughs> Holy shit. I'm gonna rehook this chain. Go grab my ladder from that tree so it doesn't just put it. it around the back side. Perfect. Well that was pretty. High fives, high fives for everyone. Stay still. Stop. You're just spinning.
I jumped on the inside. <laughs> it makes you feel better. I jump sometimes. I jumped when he was up in the tree yeah, and cool. that branch I thought he was gonna fall down the damn tree. I'm so glad he came over though, that pole saw and like yeah. Jesus dude, you're gonna kill your truck! Sorry, stuck on this one. Yeah, but he gunned it. Yeah. Slow down, don't hump too fast. That's what Tammy keeps saying. Just slow down, Brandon. <laughs> Jeez. That's how he made it cool. <laughs> My dad has this theory that you have to go slow to make a boy. <laughs> so far, he's right. So when I was young, I had my daughter, but now I'm like 120 pounds more. I can only have boys. <laughs> I need sandwich breaks. <laughs> so my brother-in-law is Adam. You've met him before on the chainsaw video. We call him for the really shitty projects. Actually, we call Baker every time. He just doesn't show. <laughs> Remember the last time we did the chicken coop? He did show, but he didn't sleep the night before, so he was like basically worthless. <laughs> Come on, Baker. I love you. Didn't sleep ever. Okay, so we got the fishing line, cast it through the crotch of the tree, and then we attached it to the yellow line. Now we're going to attach it to a strap and then to a chain, and then we're going to pull the tree as we put it down. Okay. This is Uncle Chris and Dad's yeah, idea. Yeah, Chris, I think we should detach and pull towards Adam. That would put a downward force on the Down cut. The yeah. Down this way, yeah. It's moving it. Oh. Hey, your bumper's still attached. This is the stump afterwards. Anybody need some mulch? It's about 20 feet wide of mulch. About four feet high. It's a boy's chore tomorrow. I'm not joking. You should just move the playground right over this and just call it a day. Finally, getting uh, to these logs in several weeks. I rented a uh, splitter with a log lift here, it goes both ways. So, this should go pretty quick. helping all day and uh, I don't know it's like 10 o'clock at night we've been going since noon cleaning up the trees and splitting stacking moving them we got a nice little system it's pouring rain but I still want to show you oh, 
Ze zie je geen. Brian, say hi YouTube. We got four rows of wood so far. Coming along nice. So we got four rows of wood stacked. Um, we got a full truckload still full. Um, a wagon completely full. And a trailer completely full. And two or three six foot piles of split wood. And we probably got another five to go. Uh, huge thanks to everybody that's helped along the way. Um, all my family and friends that pitched in to take the tree down, cut it, and now Ryan splitting it with me <clears throat> and my kids. Uh, it was good to spend time with all the friends and family during that time. Uh, it was even better to get it almost done. Uh, I'm not going to keep the video going. Um, just because it's the same repetitive process. I'm very appreciative of everyone that helped. And I will see you in the next video. Hope you have a great day. I lied. We're still going. Next day. <laughs> I got Crosby on the lawn tractor. Taking a break apparently. Ethan's working the splitter. I'm on the swing set. Drinking a coffee. The only thing I haven't shown is how I'm splitting these six footers. I run a little bit of a chainsaw through it, just enough to fit those in, and a sledge. With the might of Zeus! Noise. Splitting wood by hand. Sucks. Noise. Let me die in peace. Alright, bye. Have fun at your party. Yes. Thank you. So we planted grass, put the straw on. Mulch has been moved by our wonderful neighbor. The boys helped me put the wood away and stack it. And this is their prize. So we got all that wood, that wood, and this wood, and all that. Quite the hole.